Hello friends, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to fix USB printer is not detected error in Windows 11 PC or laptop. It is a very simple error and I give the multiple solution to fix this error. Our first and basic solution is check your USB cable is properly attached to your printer and your laptop or PC and make sure your printer is power on. This is our first basic solution. Next solution is very simple. We are going to print spooler. Go to the start, type services, click on the services. In services, we find many options. Click at here and find print spooler. Find print spooler. Right click on the print spooler and click on the properties. In properties, we find startup type. It is always has to automatic. Make sure it is automatic. Click at here automatic. And service status is always running so click on the apply first select automatic click on the apply now start button is visible click on start button wait for a few seconds now service status is running and startup type is automatic this is two imp things click on the ok now once again select print spooler and go to the here restart it wait for a few seconds close the services and after that restart your machine and after that your problem is solved if it's not solved, the next and basic option is update your printer driver or install your printer driver. For the example purposes, for the example purposes, I show you uh, how to install or update printer in a Windows 11 PC or laptop. First, I go to the start and I have a Canon printer. If you have a HP printer, Epson printer, brother or any other, then go to the their, their side. In my case, I type Canon printer driver and click on the Canon printer. If you have a HP printer, then type HP printer driver and click on the HP link. Open the HP link. And after that here, add your printer model number. If your printer model number is HP LaserJet, then type 1010, HP 1010. Type your printer model number. Whatever your printer model number is, type your printer model number. Then that printer model number is show at here. Click on that printer model number and this that goes to the driver's link. And if you have Epson printer, same thing. Go to the Epson site, get support for your printer. Go to the, that site, type first Epson printer driver download, then open this link. Click on here and open the, this links and go to the here, add your printer model number, whatever your printer model number is, add at here, go to the search and it show a link. Click on that link and it's go to the driver download link. Okay. For example purpose, I go to the Canon printer driver, I add Canon printer driver and I go to the first link, open the first link and here add your printer model number. Here we find by keywords and by products. I always go with the product, so I go to the product and here add your printer model number. In, in my case, I add 2900P. This is the my printer. This is a series printer, so it's showing me 2900 and 2900P also. Select that and it's automatically goes to the drivers file. Here we find our printer model number. Scroll down, here we find drivers. Click at here and my operating system is Windows 11. Find Windows 11 is finding on your printer, whatever your printer model number is. Then if you know, if it's not fine and if you're using Windows 11, then always go to the 64 bits, Windows 10, 64 bit or any 64 bit link. I go to the Windows 10 X64, that means 64 bit. Click at here. Go to their search and here we find our printer drivers. Click on that printer drivers. Find your printer drivers. Click on that printer drivers. And it's redirect to another page. Click on the download. And our download is started. Wait for a few seconds. Here we find our download is completed. Click on that. Show in a folder. Download folder. Downloads and show in a folder. Minimize it. And drag this setup file to desktop. There are multiple ways to install this. First, if you want to install this printer directly, then double click on it and install it. And if you want to update it, then select that printer, right click, select that printer driver file, right click on it. This printer setup file is actually GIF file and we are going to unzip this GIF file. That is very easy. Right click on it. Click on show more options. Click on extract files. Click on the OK. It's extract your files and create a new folder on a desktop. Double click on it. Here we find folder. In this folder, we find X64 or the drivers or find the basically find the drivers from these folders. That is very easy to find that drivers. 
Next step is update our printer driver. That is very easy and simple. Go to the start, right click on the start, not a left click, right click and go to the device manager, click on device manager. In device manager, we find many options. Go to the print, here we find print, click on, click on the print, expand print. Here we find our all printer, select the, your problematic printer. In this case, this is the printer Canon LBP2900. Right click on it, click on the update, click on the update driver. Here we find two options, go to the last option, browse my computer for drivers, select that. Here we find option, let me pick for the latest available drivers on my computer, click at the, this option. Here we find our all installed drivers for our printers. Go to the here, have a disk, click on have a disk. Go to the browse, go to the desktop. On desktop, I have this folder, newly extracted folder, double click on it and find your drivers from this entire folders. In many cases, this is in drivers. In some cases, it is in many folders. So select that folder, double click on it, double click on driver. In driver, find .inf file. Find this kind of single file or multiple files and all a .inf file or the single files contain same, same files, same drivers files. So select any file and click on the open, click on the OK. Select your printer, click on the next. It's reinstall your printer. It's reinstall your printer, close it and close this and restart your machine. In many cases, 99.99% .99 your problem is solved. If it's not solved and if you want to install this printer, then double click on that printer and install it by the same way on your Windows PC, Windows 11 PC. And I also give how to install your printer on your Windows 11. Go to the start. It is a very simple type printers and scanners. Click on the printers and scanners. And in printers and scanner, go to the add a printer or scanner. Click on add a device. Click on add manually. This printer, the printer that I want isn't listed. Click on add manually. Here we find many options. Go to the last option. Add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Select next. Port is the most IMP part. I am using USB port. So go to the USB port, select USB port, any USB port, USB 001, 002, 003, 004, select any USB port, click on the next. Here click on the have a disk, go to the browse. Our drivers are on the desktop. Double click on the your newly extracted folder, double click on it. Double click on X64 or the find this kind of drivers from the your folder .inf file. Find any .inf file or this kind of file. If multiple files, select any file and all files has the same drivers. Click on open, click on OK. Select your printer name. If you have a single printer, then select that printer. If you have multiple printers, then select your proper printer. And if you have printer in a series printer, then select that series printer, okay? Select the printer, click on the next. If you want to replace current drivers, I have double installed my printer. So it's showing me replace current, the current driver. Use the current install drivers or do anything that you want. Click on the next. I give the name. You can give any name. I give the next name. I want to copy. I want to install secondly. So this give me a copy. Click on the next. If you want to share this printer, then click on the last option. I don't, so I click on do not share this printer. Click on the next. If you want to print a test page, then click on a print a test page. Click on a finish. Next option is check our printer is properly installed or not. Go to start, type printers and scanners. Click on the printers and scanners. In printers and scanner, if you find your installed printers, that means your printer is properly installed and work 110% on your Windows 11 PC or laptop. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you guys.